Um, so uh, we will, well, I would like to go through the solution of our example uh, from the class. If you remember, we started off with a small one piece. It's a small printing company, which is a service company that provides printing service. Uh, and the activities took place for one month. So we're talking about the activities of a company and that have been existing from the start it was launched till today uh, for one month. Now, uh, we did finish the income statement. We didn't um, go through others, but we did finish income statement. But I still would like to go through the solution again in case you've missed any information and uh, would like to review uh, what we said in the class. Now, um, first of all, let's look at the very first line of the income statement. And again, uh, like I said in the class, start with the income statement, then move on to the statement of owner segment, then balance sheet, and then the statement of the cash flow of cash flows. Uh, so I've practically finished half of the solution by just writing down, uh, I mean, the the items to be uh, sort of calculated, right? So the information, half of the information is already provided. All you have to do is go back and analyze each of these lines or uh, basically go by the income statement. So for example, the very first line in the income statement is the revenue. What exactly is revenue? It's sales. So if we look into these lines, we can identify there were three one, two, and three sales uh, of this company. So company A ordered the print, uh, to print pamphlets and flyers for 10,000. So that's a service this company has provided com for company B, which is a customers. And we um, provided them uh, printed menus and an individual customer. So we just have to summarize these prices one after another, which is basically uh, the revenue Again, this has nothing to do with the cash. It is related only to the revenue of uh, this company for that specific month. And as you can see, once I type the sum of those amounts, it just comes up to 20,000. Now the cost of goods sold uh, is, let's say, the, the cost of an item that we've sold. So in this case, again, I've overly simplified it. Uh, normally I would also add ink uh, or cartridge of the printer to it as well, but um, just to make it simple, I, I'm just going to use the paper. Uh, and so let's say that <clears throat> we have bought and then we spend uh, $1,000 worth of paper. So every paper that we've bought, we've, we've spent it. Uh, or let's say we just spend $1,000 worth of paper to make these three sales possible. So I have to recognize that as a, a deduction from our revenue to come to the gross profit. So to calculate gross profit, I will deduct... 20,000 from 1,000 and we have gross profit of 19,000. So uh, notice that this doesn't include any calculations related to expenses. We're going to do that next. So gross profit is simply the revenue minus the cost of goods sold. So for example, again, I will just to review cost of goods sold. Let's say you're selling computers. You bought your computers um, for $1,000, but you're selling them for $1,200. In that case, uh, $1,000, um, I'm sorry, so the sale will be $1,200, uh, the cost of goods sold will be $1,000. And so your gross profit will be $200 before any expenses. Yeah. So now we're counting the expenses. Now, um, here, the, the expenses are related to that one month that we have already passed and we have to connect all of our expenses that have occurred uh, in that one month. Uh, again, obviously we have to match it to our revenues. Uh, and so the very first one that we calculate is the uh, printing device. So we bought a printing device that cost $10,000. So we have to depreciate its value. I have mentioned it in the class. I'm not going to repeat it again, uh, but let's just calculate the amount and I'm going to input here monthly depreciation because, um, yeah, so because one month has passed and I need to know how much of that uh, printing device has been reduced in value. In other words, depreciated. So if we calculate using the formula that I've also provided, the, and you already know it very well, um, so we have the machine cost 
original price is 10,000. Uh, we have a salvage value minus salvage value is 1,000 and eventually divided by 24 months, which is $375 for each month's uh, depreciation. So we just input that information into the income statement. So printing device was depreciated and we count it as an expense, 375. Now the rent here, the following line is rent. We paid $6,000 for rent. Again, this is not a balance sheet, so we're not looking at the cash. We're just looking at how much we spend as like an expenditure, uh, expenditure of the rent. Um, so the one month has been occupied uh, by this. If we analyze this line, paid $6,000, we can uh, surely say that one month worth of uh, rent is 500 yeah? Uh, 6,000 divided by 12 is $500, and that one month is over. It means that the expense occurred, 500. Now, wages. Um, the salaries have been paid, but at the same time, one month has uh, the, the, my, my employees have served me, so $2,000 is also my expense, and I also counted in my income statement. Now, the total expense, if we summarize it, is basically like this. 2875. Now the net income is simple. You just deduct gross profit, sorry, gross profit from uh, so total expense from the gross profit, and that is $16,125. $16, That's it. This is our income statement.